Um, hello, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Uh, my name is Raul Figueroa. I'm an organizer at a worker center in Central Falls. I'm here in support of the, uh, uh, the minimum wage bill and in support of the uh, uh, pay lift sick, uh, pay sick lift. And uh, um, I work with, uh, with communities who barely earn minimum wage. And this is, a, this is a really struggle for them because everybody has families and everybody is in the um, you know, late 30s, late 40s, trying to, just trying to keep afloat. Um, most of them had to have two jobs, so they had to choose between spending time with their families or paying rent at the end of the, uh, the, end of the month. And honestly, it's, uh, it's, really, it's really discouraging because, um, you know, it, it takes, not only that, but it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of mental, a mental toll on you when you have to, when you know that you have to continue struggling and trying to survive and trying to keep, and trying to keep afloat and trying to keep a family stable. So, I had I read, I heard a lot of opposition from the uh, restaurant industry. Um, one of the things I worked in the restaurant industry before I started this job for 15 years. I had to say I I was loyal to my to my employee because I always got paid a minimum wage. I work I work in places when I work when I got paid more than above minimum wage, and I work in places when I when I pay when I was paid uh, minimum wage. And there's a big difference. Because one of the things they forget is the happy workers make happy food, and that is uh, and that is that is that is a true fact. Because when somebody comes in the restaurant and sees somebody a smiley face, for that many people that makes that makes the whole day. Because if I go somewhere and I get a cup of coffee, the first thing I do in the morning is I get greeted by somebody who's um, grungy or somebody who's tired because. He, had, he didn't get home, that person didn't get home until 11 o'clock the night before because he had to work two jobs. That, to me, is not, is not, is not, good, customer, is not good customer service. But when somebody is happy, if somebody is nice and rested, and somebody has enough money in their pockets and enough money to support their family, and that person greets me with a smile, that impacts my life. And, I, can, and I, I, I feel like a lot of people can relate to that because everybody gets coffee in the morning, and you know that if you... If you go there in the morning and you go work up and you go work at your place and you feel you feel that you feel that like when you are in the community when people are actually making a living a living a good living wage it's actually encouraging but when people are making less when people are making barely the minimum wage these people are struggling every day and not only that, but that's going to take a toll on their, on their health and on their families. So that's all I had to say for today. Thank you.